on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 23 ultimate team video in today's video we're going to be going over the best free 98 overall mold breaker hero cards to add to your mutt 23 squad now if you guys enjoy this video if you like it if it helps you out make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button shows a lot of support on the channel helps the videos get noticed also if you're brand new here you're searching around youtube for mutt 23 content whether it's how to make coins how to get free players how to build your ultimate team you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it so we're gonna go over the best 98s from the mold breakers promo to add to your squad but first let's show you how to get this pack and also want to show you or talk about more packs that you can earn from this promo in the future because this is a two-part promo so if we go over to our field passes go down to mold breakers in this field pass there's a bunch of 93 plus packs from the promo you got some coin reward of course you got season 5 xp reward which is super important and if we scroll all the way over to level 10 you're gonna get a 98 overall bnd mold breakers hero fantasy pack so you can see i'm a little bit over 14,000 xp away from this one it's definitely achievable right now so if i go over to my objectives then i scroll through all of the objectives i have not completed yet i added up the xp i would be able to unlock this pack so we're going to go over the best 98s but it's also important to know that at the very end of this field pass which is going to be level 17 you're going to get another 98 overall hero pack this one is non bnd and this one's going to be really important because it's a two-part promo and we have these ultimate 99 overall cards that have like 99 stats everywhere and to get those cards you need 198 and then one non-ultimate 99 and i know that might sound a little bit confusing but what i'm getting at here is because this pack is non-bnd it's going to give you one of two cards you need to get one of those ultimate 99s so it might be very important which card you pick out of this pack which is not achievable yet but we will do an updated video next week on thursday when part two of this promo comes out to not only give you the best 98 but potentially the best 98 to take to put into the best 99 ultimate set there's some really good cards out there right now like earl campbell and chris McAllister. but we'll wait and see what we get for part two for now we're going to go back to this level 10 pack and there's some solid decent choices within this pack if you're trying to fill some roster holes you might be able to find one we're going to start with eagles legend rodney mcleod this card would probably be better as a safety. Unfortunately, they made him a middle linebacker, and he's not going to be uh, reliable against the run with only 57 block shed and 68 strength, but he pretty much has 99s everywhere else. Zone coverage, hit power, speed, acceleration. You can't see it on the screen, but he also has 94-man coverage. He's a really good coverage linebacker. Two problems, though. Number one, he is only 5'10", and number two, he doesn't get lurker for 0 AP though naturally he's a safety because he's programmed in the game for this card to be a middle linebacker he's gonna need lurker if you want to user him to get those jumping animations so if you would like a good coverage linebacker that's gonna be in the game for known obvious passing situations again i wouldn't put him out there if you think your opponent might be running because that strength and block shed is very scary uh this could be a good card for you he does get either pick artist or acrobat for zero ap i'd probably put acrobat on him and you can spend the one ap on lurker if you do want to user him if you got an AP available, it's probably worth it, but for the most part, they could have made this card a lot better if they gave him zero AP Lurker, but we do have another option at middle linebacker coming up later on in the video. Second choice is going to be Curtis Samuel. This is another one, and I know you're probably looking at the trucking at 67 and probably scared to use this card. I think this is a really, really good card, but they ruined it with his zero AP abilities great receiving back obviously curtis samuel is normally a wide receiver 99 speed acceleration agility catching change of direction and break tackle has good spin and juke move if you're looking for like a third down running back or somebody that's going to be reliable in the pass game this is it but his zero ap abilities are evasive and human joystick which are
aren't terrible, but it would have been much better if they gave him Route Tech or Short in Elite or Backfield Master for zero AP. So again, if you're going to use this card just in passing situations, I wouldn't spend any AP on him. But if he is going to be your every down back, you might want to look into spending one AP on either Short in Elite or Route Tech on this card. Next up is probably my favorite card out of all of the ones we're going over in this video. It's going to be TJ Hawkinson, but it's a wide receiver card. Now he's six foot five. 97 speed you can easily get that to 99 we're going to show you a strategy item in a moment that gives you plus seven to speed which would be not necessary for this card there's other strategy items out there that can get them to 98 or 99 speed again six foot five with 99 jumping 99 catch catch and traffic spec catch short rot running is great at 98 mid and deep a little bit low at 95 if you can boost those up he will be good as an outside receiver. If you can't, I would make him a slot receiver. That's the archetype they gave him. And he does get short and elite for zero AP. So if he's going to be a slot receiver, short and elite for zero AP with that speed, height, route running at the short route running and all of that catching is really, really good. If you are going to play him on the outside, and again, he is six foot five, uh, deep out elite for zero AP is another really, really good option. And as I mentioned, probably my favorite card out of all of these. We talked about middle linebacker with Ronnie Rodney McLeod, we have Bilal Nichols, which is more of a traditional middle linebacker here. They only gave him 90 speed, so that's a little bit underwhelming. In 79 zone, he's not going to be great as a AI defender against the pass, but if you're looking for a user, this is a good budget option. 94 acceleration can get bumped up as well. I'll show you that strategy item in a moment, but let's talk about the good things that this card has. 97 strength, 98 tackle, 96 block shed, so he will be good against the run. Also 95 hit power, play rec 98, and he is 6'3". He also gets lurker for 0 AP, so that solves your problems for him being a good middle linebacker to user. And there is a strategy item in the Season 5 field pass that you get very early on that's going to get you at level 4 plus seven speed jumping and excel so you throw that onto this card and we're now looking at a six foot three middle linebacker with 97 speed again assuming you don't you're not using a raider steam team if you are then he's going to be 99 speed easily acceleration will be maxed out at 99 and he gets lurker for zero ap really good middle linebacker in that situation Kirk Cousins is going to be a great budget quarterback. You know, I don't think he's going to even be top 10 in the game. But if you need a budget QB, maybe you've been away from the game for a while and you came back because you're grinding the season five field pass to get rookie premier content. This is a good one to pick up here. Only 85 speed. But again, that strategy item can boost that up. The good things about this card, 99 throw power, short throw 98, mid 98, deep 99, throw under pressure 97. And for a free card, he gets good abilities so he can get the god stack for a quarterback which is going to be pass lead elite fearless gunslinger and hot route master you can get that for only three ap really good there if you don't need hot route master you can get it for a total of two ap the other problem is that he does have generic three release i'm not going to say that makes him not usable but he obviously could be a lot better if he would have got slinger one or slinger three but like i said good budget option if you're just getting back into the game and you really really need a quarterback and you want to save your coins or your low on coins. And then we end with a position that none of you want to spend your coins on. And I know a lot of you could be out there using team captain Larry Zonka as your fullback right now. But if you need a fullback, this is a free option. And he's going to be bumped up to a 99, likely with most strategy items, especially the one that gives you plus seven speed. What he does give you is 99 strength, 98 awareness, 98 catch. So he's going to be a reliable in the passing game, but lead block at 98 and run block at 97, he's going to be good at run blocking. If they would have gave him like honorary lineman for zero AP, they would have made this card that much better. Unfortunately, he doesn't really get good abilities. Uh, identifier for zero AP is cool, but I don't think unless you're a heavy runner, I don't think a lot of you have a fullback on your field primarily or like all the time. So he's only going to get that identifier when he's on the field. If you do, you know, rock like a split close or some under center stuff where the fullbacks on the field a lot, throw identifier on there. 
there. He also gets all day for zero AP. I can't really see that being impactful uh, when it comes to a fullback. Maybe there's some weird formations that it will work on, but all in all, the reason you would want to take this card is because it's a position that you don't want to spend your coins on, and it's a pretty good card at that position. And there you have it. Like I said, TJ Hawkinson, definitely my number one choice, but there's some hidden gems within this pack, and when we get part two of the promo, more 98s and more 99 overall ultimate cards will make an updated video on the best card to take out of that end of the field pass pack. Thank you guys for tuning in. My name is Popular Stranger, and I'm out. Peace.